Goosey goosey baby. Goosey goosey. I feel like I'm I need to just get in the middle of you. Yeah. We're just like cozy down. We're besties. We're close to you ready? I'm not gonna be on you like this the whole time, so we need to just turn this a little tiny bit. My love language is physical touch, so. Oh, <laughs> should I just have this? We well, you can't in. see mine because I'm Ugh. short. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna have bloopers in this one. Yay! <laughs> hey guys, it's Sarah, and I'm here with my bestie Krista. We are here in Kansas City, and we are on our annual Book Two Besties trip, and we have quite the haul for you guys today. We're going to show you everything we bought, everything we acquired. And it's going to be a time. Yes. You ready? If you want like to guess whose stack is who, you can hop over to the vlog that's on my channel mm -hmm. before you watch this yes. so that you can guess, guess which books are Sarah's, who's... which books are mine. Yep. And then go over to Lindsay's channel, Lindsay's Little Library, to watch the haul of her books and Amanda's, and books. Amanda's books. Lots of goodies. All right. Let's go on this journey. Okay, first stop we went to was a really cute little independent bookstore called The Pretty Posy. And it was beautiful. It was a beautiful store. And we got to know the bookseller and we met another friend there and we got a couple of books. So my first one is... A chunker. This That's going in my suitcase. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So I got The Bright Sword by Lev Grossman, Fantasy, Epic, Arthurian, super, super awesome. And then I got a new release, um, A Dark and Drowning Tide by Allison Saft, which is another darker fantasy. And she's an author I've read from before and loved. So I want more from her. So this is her newest one. And I didn't drive or check a bag. So my pile is going to be really small. But I did get one at Pretty Posy. I got Assistant to the Villain because the FOMO is real. And everybody is reading this and loving it. It's by Hannah Nicole Mirror. And it's a... It's a fantasy. It's a cozy fantasy. Cozy fantasy mm -hmm. that I just want to read because everybody else is loving it. So now I can. Yes. <laughs> yep. Okay. And then we walked a couple blocks over to... Monstera. Monst Monstera. Monstera. Yeah. And um, yeah, I think it's Monstera. And this one was a bookstore slash plant shop. It was really cool in there. Really, really cool. It was beautiful. Um, we could have just sat there and we did sit there for a little bit, but um, they had a pretty good selection as well. And so I got The Book That Wouldn't Burn by Mark Lawrence. This one had a employee recommendation on it. They wouldn't let me keep the card, but it's fine. Um, but this is another fantasy and he's an author I like, wanted to try for a while. So I went ahead and got that. And then I also got a young adult fantasy, which is Air by Sabah Tinker. I'm going to read that one. Yeah. This is set after the Ember and the Ashes series. Same world, but set afterwards. So I will be reading the Ember and the Ashes series first and then diving into this one. But this is, and this is actually the first Good Morning America book club young adult pick. They just started a young adult area of the Good Morning America book club. And this is their first pick. So it's been all over the place right now, but it's not my anticipated reads. But I want to read the whole series of Ember in the Ashes first. Yeah, I need to do the same. So. <laughs> I didn't buy anything at Monstera. Zero. Which was very good. It's very good. All right. And then from there, Seven Stories. Yes, we went to Seven Stories, which we had one of the uh, people that we met at the first store yeah. um, told us about this store and it is a store that is run and operated by a 15 year old girl yeah her whole story is over in the vlog so go check that out she like so she's cool. on camera talking about what she's doing and everything but she was really impressive we were all just like listen 15 15 running I can't business get my 16 year old out of her room half the time and she's running her own business and going yeah. to school it's nuts um and she had a pretty good selection actually it wasn't huge but what she yeah. had was good. Um, and I got two books. So I got Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers by Jesse Q. Sacanto. She was very happy I got this. Um, is it cozy? -ish? Oh, yeah. Like a, yeah, cozy like mystery. an older, yeah, but older not protagonist. Like punny cozy mystery. Just an right. older protagonist who's super funny, yeah. sarcastic, and yeah. passive aggressive. Yeah. And another author <laughs> and I've read from me and want to yeah. read more. And then I bit the bullet and got The God of the Woods. By Liz Moore. I've been fighting this. I don't know why. I think I'm a little bit scared of it because I didn't love the other book I read from her, but I'm hearing so many good things about this one that I'm just, it's a good one. I'm going to give it a try. So. And I did get two books in there as well. The 
because I just wanted to support this girl yeah. who's doing something amazing. Um, I actually got one that's the same as Lindsay, but this is a local author, Ellery, Elora Maxwell, The White Rose of Texas. It's historical fiction set around the time of the Alamo and the fighting down there. So I'm excited. Local author. So it kind of has a little fun twist to it. And then also this is a book that I've seen around the, I can't say it, the Dollar Good Dream Department Store by Mayi, by that author, Mayi Lee. Um, it's a little tiny book. Also super cozy. Um, yeah, about someone who can sell. What if there's a store that sold dreams? Like that would be kind of fun. So I thought that that looked really good. So I added that to my pile as well. It's really cute. Looking book. Okay, and then we had a couple of non non-bookish events or locals that we went, areas that we went to. And uh, the first one was we went and saw Sharon McMahon. Uh, she's an Instagrammer that all four of us follow and really, really enjoy. And she was going to be here. And so Lindsay signed us up to go. It was run through the local library here. And so we got to listen to her talk. And then afterwards we got to take a picture with her. And I went ahead and grabbed the book because I was the only one who didn't own this book yet. But that is The Small and the Mighty by Sharon McMahon. And this is... How many stories? 12. Twelve. Twelve stories of actual people in history who made a really big difference that you probably haven't heard of. Yeah. And she talked about some of them and I was like, okay, I'm ready to read this book right now. Yeah. And her talking was incredible. So we all really, really enjoyed it. If you want a nonfiction that. for nonfiction, yeah, memoir, this is your great. choice. It's really good. And it's it. very, you feel like you're sitting right down chatting with her. Like I've read the first chapter so far and it's just a really good, very personable. She kind of breaks that fourth wall and talks to you as the yeah. reader and... It's fun. It's really fun. And then one of the things that we did as well was go to the Rabbit Hole, which is a children's book museum. So in this museum are all of these little exhibits focusing on different children's stories. In each exhibit, there was books that you could sit down and read. It was definitely a museum geared more for children, but it was very nostalgic for us. A lot of uh, books that I read as a kid, like the Francis books and Madeline, and but there was George. other ones too, Shel Silverstein poetry, mm -hmm. like... Um, the frog and toad, frog and toad area was, was yeah. really cool and so much detail and so much beauty in this. And it was just fun to see families with their little kids and even the women who were the docents, the volunteer women mm -hmm. who were just there helping everybody. And it just yeah. was a really wonderful, positive experience. It was just right. so lovely. The good night moon room was our favorite so at the end. Yeah. It was just really sweet. Yeah. Um, you'll catch some pic lots of pictures and stuff of it on my blog, but, yeah. um, they had a little bookstore at the end, at the exit area and so I picked up this Meg Medina book she was actually going to be there in the evening, in the evening of yeah. the day that we went but we yeah. weren't going to come back for yeah, it we but so I picked up The Girl Who Could Silence the Wind by Meg Medina this is also a book about dreams to a degree um, but with a um, Latin American twist to it because that's Meg Medina's background and so it has that aspect to it and I'm just I'm just very excited I really like Mercy Suarez series I've read the first one so I'm excited to read more from that author awesome Okay, and then we hit the next day. We hit a couple more um, independent bookstores, and the first one was a romance bookstore, and it was really cool because they had just expanded and doubled their size, so we got to kind of see it before their official opening. But um, yeah, I got a couple things there, and it was <laughs> it was very romance. It's it very romance heavy. <laughs> um, lots of puns, lots of fun signs. Crystal was like, of, "Don't yeah, look." <laughs> We were loving it. Krista was like, okay, get your stuff. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. But, and the staff was really nice. They were very nice and kind and, um, you know, all that. So I got a couple things. I did get Brother Song by TJ Klune, which is the fourth book in the Green Creek saga, which is the last one. Um, they just re-released all of these because they were originally self-published. And so now I have all four and now I can actually read, read them. It's fine. Um, and then I actually got this one. This is The Forgotten and the Feared by E.C. Garrett, which is a local author. It's a dragon book. And from what I'm gathering from what I, the synopsis I was reading, it's dragons that are held in captivity and they're used for fighting, almost like dog fighting or chicken fighting or something like that. They're using dragons instead. Um, so I thought I would take a chance on it. It's really beautiful and it is signed as well. So, um, and a local author. So I thought that was pretty cool. I did find one in there. She did. She did find one. <laughs> I asked them for help finding books that had a sweet romance. I think you challenged them. Or a, a long, <laughs> like a long drawn out yes. slow burn. 
and and they were like, hmm, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <Yep. laughs> wasn't their normal taste. <laughs> but they did find one that's already on my want to read list. So the Lost Bookshop by E.B. Woods is one that I picked up. And I mean, I didn't need to know much beyond the cover of this one because <laughs> I love the cover, but I know it's going to be a sweet romance. And so I'm really excited to pick that one up. I have another one by this author now too. So no, two yeah. that I need to read. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and then we went to a used bookstore um, that we found and it was fine. Um, it was fine. There was a lot. Um, there were different levels to it. And it's one that, you know, if you're really looking for something, you kind of have to try to dig yeah. for it. But I did find a couple things. So I grabbed an education in malice by S.T. Gibson, which is a dark academia fantasy. Heard really good things about this one. And I, it might be young adult, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. And then I also found A Sorceress Comes to Call by T. Kingfisher, who is an author that I really, really want to read. And this is a 2024 release, and I got it for pretty cheap, um, considering it's a hardback. So that was a pretty good find for me. I didn't find anything in that store. Anything in that store. I looked. You were looking. Yeah. I didn't find anything. Yeah. Okay, and then we headed to Goodwill. Um, we found a Goodwill, and I grabbed The Dead and the Dark by Courtney Gold, which is ghosty, kind of ghost country type things for this one. And this is Young Adult as well. It's a cool cover. It's really pretty. And then The Darkness Before Them by Matthew Ward, which is another one that um, came out less than a year ago. I think it came out at the end of 2023. But I remember we got these in stock at Barnes Noble, and I was really excited. Never picked it up. But I got it for super cheap at Goodwill, so I was kind of glad. Um, and I didn't get anything at Goodwill. You did Oh, I thought you did. Okay, good for you. I know. <laughs> All right, you want to start off the... Um... I didn't get anything at the swap either. <laughs> what are you doing here, Christine? Today we <laughs> met up with a bunch of subscribers and friends and went to lunch at a barbecue place, Kansas City. You can't come to Kansas City and not have mm -hmm. some barbecue. It was delicious. So we had some barbecue and just met some wonderful women who joined us for lunch and then book shopping. But at, after lunch... We went outside and people had brought some books that they were done with and set them all out on a table. We did a little book swap mm -hmm. and I didn't choose to take any home okay. with me. I did. I got two. <laughs> all right. Thoughts. So I grabbed The Guilt Trip by Sandy Jones, which will be kind of a domestic thriller, probably. I haven't read her yet, so we'll see how that goes. And then the first one I grabbed was A Broken Blade by Melissa Blair, which is a... Ooh, the eyes are shimmery. Yeah. Isn't that cool? I grabbed this up real quick. I was like, I was the last one to pick in our first round. I was like, nobody grabbed that. <laughs> no one did. And I grabbed it so fast. So yeah, excited for that one. Nice. Okay. After lunch. After lunch. We went, after the swap, we went to Rainy Day Books, which was the best. The best. <laughs> oh my that gosh. was easily my favorite one. It, yeah. it was not a very large shop, but... Very open, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful booksellers. Yes. All three, so four, four of the people yeah. working were just filled with book knowledge and ready to share about books and so welcoming. They were so excited that we can come into the store. We met the book bros and other yep, group of guys that were in there. Yeah, I'll leave their Instagram um, down below. They were fantastic. And we just, these booksellers were just doing their job. Um, so yeah. we got a few things. I actually wasn't yeah. influenced by booksellers in that one. But oh, man, I was. Some of us were. <laughs> yeah, some of us um, were. So, yeah, we got a lot in there. Do you want me to go first? Or do you want to go? You go first. I only have two. So Amanda told us about this, that she picked up on this trip to a, a bit much by Lindsay Rush. It's a book of poetry. And she keeps reading a couple to us here and there. And, and we're like, everyone <laughs> is... Yeah. hitting the feels it's, hitting, yeah. it's making us tear up it's relatable, Very relatable. it's just yep. um, and I think I mean I first heard about it from Jamie on the Jamie Golden on the podcast um and so she picked it up because of that but and she has convinced us we that we needed it, it yeah. as well <laughs> yeah. um and then the other book that I got that was also on my want to read list is Welcome to the Hunam Dong Bookshop this is set in Korea this is by Gwang Bo Room set in Korea and it's just a cozy bookish book. Heartwarming Korean smash hit. Done. There, there was only one thing on her mind. I must start a bookshop. So I think it's a woman who leaves the corporate world to open up a bookshop. Yeah. Um, and that was a recommendation at our last retreat. Somewhere too. in Korea. So I'm just really excited to have this. It's been one that I've been eyeing here and there. But yeah, decided to go for it. Okay. Um, I was absolutely influenced. Um, 
So the first one here is Unbound by Christy Healy. And I feel like I have heard about this one here and there, um, but it's not something that's like super popular, but uh, the bookseller definitely, um, I was talking to her and she said she's mostly a sci-fi fantasy reader. And I said, come with me and recommend <laughs> you some me things because that's what I, that's what I'm really des desperately in the mood for right now. And so she definitely recommended this one. So it's kind of Beauty and the Beast, except Beauty is the Beast. Mm. And I was like, say no more. And hand me that, please. So I got that. Um, I got The Memory of Animals by Claire Fuller, which is one that I've heard about on the Currently Reading podcast, and it sounded really interesting. And um, we're just going to say hello. There's oh, yes. oh, So, yeah. Um, yes, please. On all that. that um, I also grabbed Starter Villain by John Scalzi. I read a book by him earlier this year and loved it. Uh, and I definitely want to read more from him. So, and this cover is epic so <laughs> and a couple people when I picked it up they were like oh that's so good I got the river of silver by S.A. Chakraborty which is short stories from the Davidad uh, City of Brass series and I have it in paperback I've been waiting for this to come out in paperback do you read short stories are. if they're set in a, a, world in a that series you know. that I'm reading yeah, yeah I do yeah um, if they're standalone I usually don't and then um, the bookseller also sold me on Thorn Hedge by T. Kingfisher another T. Kingfisher book um, she said this love story had her, she said it's her favorite love story of all time. And she read it two times in a row Wow! because like she finished it and then she immediately read it again. I mean, oh it's, it's too tiny, but yeah, I was like, um, done. <laughs> and then, uh, these last two that I got at the store are two that were some of the main ones I was personally looking for this weekend. And the first one is the Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett, which is another one I heard about on uh, the currently reading podcast and Meredith is raving about this thing. It's her favorite book of the year. Maybe one of her favorite books of all time. So another fantasy and another one from the podcast. I have a problem <laughs> is a short walk through a wide world by Douglas Westerbeek. I thought this was a fantasy. It is not. It is a fiction book. Um, but I heard this compared to Addie LaRue and I just said, yes, please. Because Addie LaRue is an all time favorite for me. So that too. It's a beautiful cover. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's really pretty. Yeah. Do you have any more? I have one left from You have one left. Okay. Um, I'll just finish it out then for me. Uh, we went to Target and I got Carrie <laughs> by Stephen King because this is one Stephen King I don't have yet and I love the redone covers here like with the blood and the crown and everything. So that's really cool and I don't have it yet. I bought zero at Target. Zero. And then um, we met up with Chloe from um, Always Booked, I'll leave her down below as well. Um, we got to see her and uh, spend a little bit of time with her and her beautiful family. And she said, hey, I have books in the basement. Go, go take some. Go take some. <laughs> and we were like, okay. okay. Um, so I, I, <laughs> I grabbed The American Roommate Experience by Elena Armas. So this is a romance. We'll see. I haven't read her yet, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah. And I grabbed The Orphan House by Ann Bennett. And now that I think about it, I might already own this. <laughs> So find out what she but I took it because it has orphan on it. No, I'm gonna check before I go home okay. because you put it in the little library. I didn't check it the heck, so oh, but I'll true. add it to the three little library pile. Yeah. yeah, But yeah, it has orphan in the title, so of course I grabbed it. And I have another yeah. Ann Bennett, I know, but I don't know if I have this one. I have to double check. Have to find out. That's it. Yeah. That was a eight. lot. Oh yeah, eight books. That's yeah, more, it's more than more than eight. Twenty five. I have twenty five. It's. It's good. It's all, I checked the bag. Everybody's and fine. I packed late. And you're supporting all these? Party. And I'm supporting people. And some of these are really small. So I have I actually have some pretty thin ones. Um, fun, fun. But yeah. All right. Go check out Lindsay's channel. She has a haul for her and Amanda. So you can see what they got. Check out Chris's vlog. And we will see you guys again soon. We're going to have fun getting all these home. So bye. Bye.